story on CBS 4 News at 6. We're taking a closer look at the autopsy results in the death of Christian Glass. The 22-year-old was shot and killed by a Clear Creek County Sheriff's deputy in June after he called for help. During a press conference yesterday, his parents called for the deputies involved in the shooting to be prosecuted. They also commented that they knew their son's autopsy might show drugs in his system. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson dug into the toxicology report with some medical experts. And Spencer, a few drugs did show up in that autopsy report. That's right, mostly THC and then amphetamines. But his parents' story of why amphetamines would show up was talked about yesterday. And when I spoke with that toxicologist today, he said the parents' story likely true. Someone tase him. June 10th, Christian Glass is shot and killed by a deputy in Silver Plume after stalling his car on a rock and calling 911 for help. Glass had two knives on him and tried to throw them out the window, but was told not to. Glass refuses to leave the vehicle. He eventually grabs one of the knives while officers break his passenger window. They tase him, shoot him with beanbag rounds, and he swings his arm wildly holding the knife. Officers shoot him. Questions are now being raised on why the responding officers were so intent to get him out of the car in the first place if he had not committed a crime, which the state patrol over dispatch tries to clarify with responding officers. If there's no crime and he's not suicidal, homicidal, or a great danger, then there's no reason to contact him. There's no medical issue that we're not aware of. The responding officers make allusions to Glass being under the influence of something. The autopsy report shows, yes, there were drugs in his system. I spoke with a professor of toxicology, Andrew Monti, about what they found. First, ethanol, but our professor says there's not enough to matter here. Next, THC. He says it's clear Glass smoked marijuana shortly before he was killed that night. I see this being elevated, suggesting that he used recently. Um, this doesn't suggest that he used way more than would be typical of anybody uh, smoking, uh, of which 30% of our population does on a, on a monthly basis. And amphetamines, which some might take as meth, but Monty says don't get those confused. This does not look like it's methamphetamine. This does look like it's amphetamine, which again is a prescription medication. That matches what Glass's parents told us yesterday that their son was known to smoke pot and that he was diagnosed with ADHD and was taking medication for it, like Adderall or Ritalin. Now, whether or not the drugs in Glass's system played a significant part of what unfolded is up to interpretation, but it's one piece of this puzzle. Cannabis has been shown to increase levels of anxiety, depression, and psychosis. Um, even regular use can do that. So, um, you know, I think it's important for users to understand that it can affect mental health. Now we've yet to hear back from the Clear Creek County Sheriff's Office, but when we do, we will let you know. Live from the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson uh, covering Colorado first.